Today we are talking all about niching and target markets and ideal clients and all of that good stuff. This is a purple duck. And as you can see, the purple duck is standing out from the crowd. My job is to turn you from a yellow, generic, nobody knows who you are, boring yellow duck into this confident, legitimate, professional purple duck. Because when you are a purple duck and you stand out from the crowd because your messaging is focused and concise and clear, you are able to speak purple duck language, quack, 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 quack. And you will communicate in a way that will then attract fellow purple ducks into your very empty duck pond. And all of these little purple duckies, they're gonna come and they're gonna sit in your duck pond and they're gonna look up at you and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, you're, you're sharing my story. And this just happened to me yesterday. And I've never seen, felt so seen and so validated. Can you help me? How can you help me? And all of a sudden you now have an audience of purple duck prospects who are a right fit to enroll into your program because you have attracted them based on communicating about the problem that they have. So that when you go and you put out your offer for your signature program on acne, on fertility, on helping your child with ADHD, on supporting end of life, on preventing a cancer recurrence, whatever it is, they're all like, that's me. I need that program. And now you have real qualified prospects sitting in your duck pond and a percentage of them will enroll, right? Versus trying to talk to anyone and everyone and your duck pond is filled with a randomness of birds, some parakeets, some pigeons, some cardinals, some blue jays, right? You got a couple crows in there, you got a couple hawks and there's one purple duck. So you'll get one client, okay. And then you'll come and you'll say to me, Lori, my program sucks, nobody wants to buy it. And I'll say to you, it has nothing to do with your program. How do you know your program sucks? Nobody's gone through it. We don't know that yet. I'll tell you what your problem is. Your problem is that your messaging is not focused. You are not attracting your purple ducks. You only had one purple duck. The rest were random birds. So now we have to go back and we have to start at the very beginning all again because you decided not to niche. <laughs> and you decided not to pick an ideal client because you were like, I can help anyone. So let's talk about what a niche actually is. Your niche is your area of specialization. So here are some things I want you to think about. Question number one is what is your area of specialization? What do you have experience in personally that you could share about without learning anything more? So think about that for a second. What do you have experience in personally that you could, that you feel really passionate about, that you feel really um, like it's a necessity for you to share your story. What do you have education in where if somebody was sitting in front of you right now, you, you could tell them three things to do without researching anymore. Like what do you have a led level of education in specifically what condition, what mindset, what philosophy, whatever it is that you could really, without researching, without learning, without taking another certification, what could you speak to right now? And then what are you obsessed with, right? What could you talk about all day, every day? What could you read books on? What could you listen to podcasts about? What are you obsessed with? So those are some things. And then those are some things to help you with your niche, so like your area of specialization. I'm gonna give you one more that's sort of on the flip side. So I can't credit this statement because I don't remember who said it. I didn't make it up, but I just wanna sort of share that. But it's this idea of your hell no story. This idea of your hell no, I will not let you suffer with what? I've been through it, I can help you, I know what I'm doing. You are not gonna suffer, not on my watch, Hell no. I will do everything in my power, everything in my power until the day that I die to make sure that you don't suffer like I did. What is that? What's that hell no? So for me, mine is hell no, 
I'm not going to let you suffer for two years trying and hemming and hawing and then thinking that you're not good enough when in reality, you just don't have the model and you just don't have the skills and you don't have the mentorship. So hell no, I'm going to do everything in my power until the day that I die to scream from the rooftops that you need a niche and an ideal client and the ongoing enrollment method, because otherwise I know that you're going to suffer. Not on my watch. Not if I have anything to do about it, right? What is that for you? So that's a little bit about how you pick your niche. Your niche is your area of specialization. So weight loss, cancer, digestion, body confidence, postnatal, anxiety. So that is a niche. It is a broad category, okay, that you work in. Now we're going to talk about what your target market ideal client is. And then must answer question number two is who is it? So you have acne. You have anxiety, you have burnout. Now we need to go a little bit deeper and really define your ideal client, your purple duck. Because here's what I want to say to you that I think will help you focus your area, focus your messaging. When you are talking about acne or weight loss or gut health or any, whatever your area of specialization is, I want you to really think about a particular person their age, their education level, their experience, because here's the example that will give you clarity. Let's say your area of specialization is anxiety. The examples you give, the stories you tell, the consequences of anxiety are going to be very different for a 27-year-old woman who's just starting her career than it will be to a 62-year-old woman who is in her second stage of life her second half of life. The strategies that you use to help them are the same, but how you attract them to your pond is different, right? It's the demographics. Now I want you to think about how does that impact them? So write this down. How does that impact them? Put impact and circle it. So gut symptoms, anxiety, being highly sensitive. How does this impact them? So how does having this let's call it a condition, impact their life. Because, okay, so you've got symptoms, so what? So you have anxiety, so you have postpartum depression. So so it's not enough just to be like, I work with people who have postpartum depression. It's, I work with people who have postpartum depression so they don't have to suffer or they can have whatever they want. We're gonna put together your one sentence target market clarity statement. So I work with who? Who do you work with? Tell me area, you know, who do you work with? Moms, young children, mothers of children who have ADHD. Who do you work with? I work with people who have, this is the area of specialization. This is your niche, have acne, have ADHD, have low body confidence so that they can outcome, so that they can thrive in their second half, so that they can deepen the relationship with their spouse, so that they can feel powerful at work. What's the outcome? So that when you are at a party and somebody says, oh, what do you do? And you can say, oh, I work with practitioners and coaches who are starting and growing their online businesses so that they can uh, build the business and the life of their dreams all on their own terms. Done. That you can sort of finesse it as you go, but you're no longer like, oh, I'm a nutritionist. Oh, I'm a personal trainer. Oh, I'm a massage therapist. No. What do you do? When somebody says to you, what do you do? You say, oh, I work with uh, postnatal moms who have a painful C-section so that they can reduce their pain and go for a natural childbirth next time. So clear, purple duck all the way. I want to show you three examples. These are clients of ours inside of the 10K success system. And I just want to show you. So this is Nicole. I don't have to tell you who her purple duck is, do I? C-section recovery method, right? Takes control of recovery here. I do not have to tell you who she works with. Online program with coaching and community. Feel strong and confident in postpartum. It's very clear. Now, this one. She's a resilience coach. Empowering empath women 30 to 40 years old to break free from toxic and abusive relationships. It's very clear like purple duck all the way. She doesn't just work with trauma, right? Or relationships. She's not just a relationship coach because that's still too broad. 
gut health, evidence-based therapeutic nutrition, IBS, digestive health focus, creator of the shift your gut therapy method. Everything about her and what she does is gut health, everything. 